cruise now and we're at the port of St. Kitts and we are here for the day from 8 o'clock to 4.30 but I would say make sure that we're on the boats for 4 o'clock. This is a special that I've done especially on St. Kitts itself to give you a rundown as to what we've got in our wonderful country of St. Kitts and Nevis. We're not actually docked in Nevis, we're docked in actually the port of St. Kitts. I'm going to give you a bit of history now. St. Kitts came from St. Christopher, the national islands of St. Kitts and Nevis. We are one of the eighth smallest countries in the world, uh, so I imagine you have been of one of the biggest ships in the world now on the eighth smallest country in the world St. Kitts and Nevis is only 100 square miles in total you know that is a very much a wow I would say so you know it's not because it's so small there's plenty to do and that is what I'm going to share with you today like I said it was nice to come off the port and there's only there's no check-in really you just walk through and when you're walking through you have all the souvenir shops the jewelry shops plenty of jewelry shops there on the left hand side and right hand side all around just take your time and you just walk through there if you wish just to be walking around saying it's it's in the morning it's after eight you can just take a simple walk down and you get to the end and basically if you feel like actually seeing one of our museum in St. Kitts it is located just at the end of all the tourist area there it's a nice walk across. We also have the Pelican Mall, and that's a local entity where, again, we have shops there. We have jewelry shops, we have um, a little souvenir shop. We have different little shops inside there. We have our glassy shop there as well. The local off license, we would say in the UK. So we've got um, a local off license there. They tend to differ. I would say, really, they're about the same price different to what you have in the tourist area which when you come off you see places where you can buy bottles of liquor and um, St. Kitts has their own brand one of the famous ones is CSR that is famous and also Belmonte that's also a Belmonte rum that we actually do as well so it's nice there's a quite a few different rums that we do locally so what you do look at the labels and you can see what is made locally and that's very nice to take back for a, you know a nice gift the rums are very strong over here so you know try it and um, you, you'll see for yourself and you'll get a try as well so it's not that um, you can just watch the rum they'll give you a taste of it if you want to see which one you prefer so that's not too bad. It's very hard to make a decision on board what you will like to do on St. Kids. There is so much and you only got eight hours to enjoy whatever experience. What you can choose off is basically whether you go to the beachy sides and see some of the area over there and the views of the St. Kids over on that side of the island. Or basically you travel around the island and again, like I say, it's very hard to get both, but you know, both because the time period that we have and you've got to be prepared because although the island is so small it, you still be stopping off and seeing certain places we've got lots of places to see while you go around the island it is a very historical island so you, you know the tour you know does take quite a few hours very well and it depends how much you want to get in there because we have the famous brimstone hill the black rocks where the volcanic rocks are you know as you go around there's plenty to see so the choice really is in your hands which way you rather go but i'm a beach person so i actually went on the beach uh, what i did a walk around town and look at what the locals are doing it, it was a wednesday so that's right uh, during the week it was so everybody's working the banks are there and the ordinary shops are there you, again you've got the restaurants and the bars that you can go in you know local it's very nice to go into a local bar not only that it's very nice to support it because like i said um island itself yes we rely on tourists to spend their money on the island but also on the local side to you know have a taste of the local they are very friendly people and there's as far as i'm concerned they they have a heart of gold so therefore you should not worry about how they're going to take you as a tourist or not but you take everybody and treat everybody the same way so i wouldn't even worry about how you feel on the island they'll make you feel at home to tell the truth the whole point of stopping off in saying it is one of the things to learn their culture to learn their country and to hopefully go back one day and spend more time and see everything because there is so much to see. Things that you can do, again, like I say, you can explore the cruise port. And 
that's just going around the port and you can say you could spend some time and the tours um, you could go around the tours they've got tours planned as well that you can um, go around with the taxi drivers and they'll take you th through the vibrant town of Thane Kitts. And there's also Brimstone Hill, it's a fortress and it's a national park, not too far from the town centre. It was built in the 17th century, evidently it was a fortress to protect them from the fighting against the French. It has a World Heritage Site honour by the UNESCO. You can enjoy the view and the calm of the sandy shores while you're looking over from the top of Brimstone Hill and the narrow stone gates and the houses that you can see from there. It's a very beautiful sight. Uh, you got a lot of steps to walk up there as well so it's it's very nice you know as i said i'm telling you from my experience alone so i must say that it is a, it's a beautiful place to see uh, also there's a scenic train which goes around the island when the sugar cane when i was doing the sugar cane the train goes from one point to the next and it goes through the cane fields and it picks up the cane that's what, how it used to be but now we use it as a train to show the tourists what think it's or how it used to be uh, the railway was built in 1912 and um, 1926 to transport um, sugar cane throughout the island. And then we've got a very nice rainforest as well. Um, again, it's, it's a lot of hours. We haven't got that much. So with the rainforest, it's quite, you know, it's going to take you about approximately about 20 minutes, 30 minutes to get through once traffic is all right. And when you go up into the mountain there, then you get yourself prepared. Make sure you've got some, some boots. And then you're, you're in the rainforest and you do some climbing and some swinging, you know. You basically just hike in there. And it's, it's a nice, cool, and you can see there's lots of mango trees and all different types of trees, coconut trees. You know, there's quite a lot. It's, it's quite diverse in our rainforest, so it's very nice. It, it, it treasures are green, trees are amazing, and to explore the floral and the fauna some of which are used by locals to cure diseases etc so you will be going in there so you know be prepared to go in there uh, you got um, hiking up to Mount Liamago as well uh, which is a volcano it stands up to 3792 foot tall over the island itself so it's a very high they they classed it as being extinct but it did um, rumble some years before Again, we haven't, I don't think there's been no issues um, throughout that recently. And then you got the beaches. Oh, I think it's got some wonderful beaches. That's uh, so my aim, main aim, and I love the, the beach. Uh, my favorite is the reggae beach, which is over the peninsula. And on the way over the peninsula, you see some hotels and the tourist attractions over there. Very, very nice to see. It's a nice drive over, and there's a mountain that's been cut through to get you over to that side as well. On the way over, you see um, a beautiful sight on the island. You can't see this in probably none of the countries where you can see both the Atlantic Sea and the Caribbean Sea at one time. It is a glorious view, it's just because where we're situated within the Caribbean and how the rock has been cut out for us to actually get over to from one side to the next now you can actually see the two sides at the same time um, the waters whisper a breeze of sweet aroma that is formed from the dashing of the waves you know these nice words that we how we explain um, how our seas are how beautiful and how clear they are yeah, we've got Majors Bay Beach. It's laid back scenery. It's not too much on it, but it's a very nice, quiet beach. We've got Cockersell Beach. Arguably, it's the, the best beach in St. Kitts due to its powdery white sandy beach. Um, the locals love um, partying on the beach during the public holidays and weekends. Sandbank Bay. It's the world's loveliest a gaze upon the some years back. The beach was completely untouched by human hands, but now everyone can enjoy and splashing its waters and um, there's many many more beaches um, frigate bay beach none of our beaches are private so therefore anybody could go on any beach so everything is accept um, accessible in any way so any beach around the um, st kitts and navies you could you have access to no matter if there's a hotel or not so that's such a wonderful thing um, quite a lot of other caribbean islands they they privatize their beach but um, as I said, it's nice to know that they do look after the locals um, to be able to have the same preference like everybody else. Independence Square. This 
public square acts as a central hub for the cultural life of the Kittishan people. Uh, it's const it was constructed in the late 1700s, again quite a lot of history and used by slaves and auctions and council meetings. Yeah, your driver, uh, your taxi driver will take you around there more than likely if you want to see the town area and um, show you um, the uh, wonderful square um, which we've changed to Independence Square. We've got a lot of states as well um, on the islands and um, the states are where they get the sugar cane, they used to have the sugar cane there, store the sugar cane and prepare and patch them up and get them sent off. So there's quite a lot of uh, states around the islands and manors. The manors, uh, quite a lot of the manors as well. There's a few hotels um, through these manors. One of the special manors is called Romney Manor and that's um, Bat Carabelle Batik. And that is a special place, Earls of Romney own this mansion which dates all the way back to the, 19, the 1600s, set in approximately about eight acres um, on Romney ground. It uh, has enjoyed only five family owners to date in 1625. The property was purchased by great-great-great-grandfather Thomas Jefferson. And that's some history. And right now what you do up there in Kawabatik, they make out of wax. You can get some nice dresses or t-shirts made or um, scarves. It's a factory based up there, but it gives you access. But up there is so beautiful in the terms of a lot of flowers, flowers from beautiful flowers that you don't see in the UK, only the Caribbean, and they're there to be shown. Up there is kept immaculate and very nice. You have water sports, and those water sports are at the beaches as well that you can enjoy. You know, there's quite a lot of different water sports up and down um, the islands. If you wish to also, you know, take a bicycle or rent a car around the island, you can. That's very easy, accessible as well, that you can actually do that. One of the favourites is a horseback riding. The horseback riding is done in certain areas, which is the Frigate Bay, and also um, over the, the other side of um, Barsetir. There's another place that you can actually do horse riding. That's very nice as well because they actually go in the sea as well if you want to um, ride the horse in part of the sea as well. It's, re it's very nice to see them on the sand as well. You know, so while you're going around St. Kitts um, and you, you, we have the finest foods and drinks, um, we have our local beer which is Carib, so you must try that. That is something that you can try, which is quite great. Um, you know, that's one of the, our local beers. It's nice to be on the islands and try the local beers. It's very refreshing. On Nevis, um, Nevis, there's a boat that normally goes from, I think it's to Nevis as well. That's another tour, our sister island. Uh, they have plenty of places to see in Nevis as well. Um, not only the Rina Rion um, Bath, where they have the spring. It's a spring over there. It's a live spring. It's a volcanic spring. And um, that's a very nice place to see. On Nevis, they've got beautiful beaches as well, um, and hotels, which is got some very nice hotels um, over there too that you could actually see. Um, if you return to um, St. Kitts or Nevis, you can stop in any one of the islands. The boats run quite often. So, you know, I hope. Hopefully I gave you quite a lot of information about St. Kitts and what you like to do. But remember the whole idea of our trip here today, um, off the boat and to visit, is to get a taster uh, of the island and that's what we're doing. And that will give us an encouragement to maybe one day come back and see, to be able to do all the things and many more things that St. Kitts has to offer um, on the island. But it's a wonderful island and I hope everybody enjoys it. I, I always enjoy it. It's not the first time for me being on the island. And um, I do hope I haven't forgot anything. But if you want to know more about the island, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe at any time. And as I said, I can just um, give you lots more information if required. But as I said, this is a special from me, Buzz Buzz is my uh, my name on the YouTube, and I am directly coming from the law of the seas, Royal Caribbean cruise, and giving you information that will help you probably enjoy this uh, coming off the boat on this island, uh, wonderful island of um, Saint Kitts and 
and Nevis and uh, do enjoy and make sure you get a lot of what the locals got there to offer as well and bye for now and the next time I'll be back on on Monday at 10 and unfortunately I have to leave this most glorious island Sugar City was named the nickname for this island because we used to produce lots of sugar and this wonderful island of St. Kitts say goodbye to it and um, I'm back on the boat and heading towards uh, Puerto Rico so don't forget like comment and subscribe Bye -bye.